yes we are discussing about the storage type as of now we completed the put away control indicator now today we will check remaining control parameters go to ewm system IMG setup. Yes, sir. Yes, please. Yeah, at the end of the session, can you please, I mean, show me how to, like, you know, uh, log in into this uh, EWM and uh, EC system. Yeah, okay. so that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now only, now only. Now only, yeah, th this is useful for all, okay? See here, uh, we need to have the SAP GUA login pad, okay? I am using the old version 7.3.0, why because uh, since a long time uh, I addicted uh, for this one, okay. And now uh, you can find out 7.40 and 7.50 or whatever it may be. Just uh, go to create and next here uh, I have given all the details like a description application server instance number. Yeah, yeah. Number. This you can, okay. <coughs> and No, this is fine. Uh, this yeah. is fine. Uh... Okay, so I mean this login pad. I mean, do we need to uh, get it from uh, Google uh, or? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, uh, most, uh, mostly we are using uh, SAP in our systems, right? Uh, either it's whatever it may be, uh, company. We uh, we have the SAP GUIs in our laptops, right? Just within that only we can uh, add this one. No need to go with the new login pad on this thing. Okay, just add this application uh, server. This is the public IPs. Okay, somewhere they have uh, maintained the uh, this servers, ECC and EWM servers. Okay, just uh, keep these details here and uh, directly uh, you can click on here. It will open. It will call the uh, host and uh, IP address of uh, the servers, and we will able to connect this one. Yeah. No need to go with a new uh, SAP GUA. And but one thing, say in uh, some MNCs, uh, they are maintaining firewalls. Okay, uh, maybe uh, due to that, in company laptops, uh, uh, sometimes we will get uh, some uh, <coughs> connectivity uh, problems uh, due to their uh, internal firewalls and these things. If we don't have any firewalls uh, in our laptop, uh, uh, it is possible to connect these uh, servers okay this thing. <coughs> say for example in my company uh, if i am using the company lan work uh, it it will not work for me if i connect to any citrix or uh, any vpn connectivity okay uh, we are uh, going into some other company's network maybe if that company is not maintaining any firewalls are we able to connect uh, this sap okay this one okay yeah now this is the that's okay yeah we are into img setup SEM extended warehouse management extended warehouse management master data Define storage type. We are here. Our warehouse is JPL. Okay. I think we not it created. Okay, anything. Just how any of have a look on uh, existing ones 
after completing that we create our own storage types see here we discuss this part put away control uh, areas are like uh, what is the put away rule mixed storage either uh, we want to go with uh, any capacity checks and etc we have seen that now the other control area is stock removal okay during the stock removal what are the control parameters available at a storage type level okay this confirm removal this is the uh, required for confirming after stock removal process and stock on resource here resource is nothing but a piece of machinery or a worker or whatever it may be say for example one product is about to come into my storage type about to come means some open warehouse task is there to reach the product into that storage type suddenly if i got one sales order outbound delivery for that storage type in that case either my system should consider that incoming product or not this can be specified stock on resource okay if any put away open warehouse stocks are there in that case the system consider that stock also against the picking uh, picking these things picking a uh, warehouse tasks and negative stocks say for example if stock is not there still i want to go uh, with the proposal for warehouse task in that case we can use this one and hu picking control this i will explain you during the outbound poac time outbound poac time okay this thing after uh, hu configuration completion we will come to know that uh, what is the impact of uh, these check boxes say for example already some hus are there for outbound uh, process oriented storage control handling units are mandatory in that case say for example if i want to uh, get some picking against any warehouse task means i am accessing some handling unit within the storage type either i want to adopt the complete hu or else only parts or else lower level hus if uh, if there are some nested handling units that kind of settings we will see in outbound pyc type next pick point active this we will see in uh, layout oriented storage control use for rough bin determination in uh, during the replenishment we can see and the stock removal rule here we maintain some uh, leaf o or p4 last in first out or first in first out apart from that we have provision to maintain our own stock removal rules that during outbound side we will discuss that roll around whole units this also outbound time we discuss okay and here one availability group is there this is the interface as of now just uh, i am explaining as of now only for uh, today's session only availability group is the interface to update the stocks between ecc and ewm okay uh, say for example whenever i move my product into any of the storage type that should be update in which storage location this availability group will decide and mandatory until unless we tick this that should not be applicable for this availability group for this availability group okay this thing non-dependent stock type this during a stock management we will get idea posting change bin say for example i want to change the stock type of my product unrestricted is there but my warehouse supervisor observed that some uh, part of the products are spoiled and uh, it's not useful to deliver to any customer i want to keep that uh, products as a blocked stock or else any quality inspection is required okay whatever it may be that is nothing but a posting change okay if i apply any posting change against any products either that posting changes needs to be happen within the same bin or else system should propose a new bin for this one okay that options we can see here 
Posting change always in storage bin. Posting change according to mixed storage settings. Okay, posting change never in storage bin. Never in storage bin means we need to move that product to other storage bin, not in the same bin. Okay, just like say for example in one my tray, uh, one of my tray I have bananas are there, some 10 dozens or 15 dozens, whatever it may be. Out of those some 5 10 bananas are spiled, I need to uh, make it uh, black stock for those bananas. Either I want to keep those bananas in the same tray or else another tray. Depends on that uh, product characteristics or uh, reaching, we need to go with this setup. Okay. Say for example, if one banana turned as a black, maybe next day all turns to some black. If I remove that uh, spoiled banana to another tray, this remaining stock will not affect like this thing. Okay. Otherwise, posting change according to mixed storage type setting. In a put away control area, we have seen mixed stock types. Depends on that, we can use this option. And this is the goods movement control. And no GI, say for example, I, I do not want to do the GI against the storage type. We can flag this one. Okay. This thing. No goods issue posting allowed for this storage type. And say, uh, for example, Say for example, I want to keep my uh, stationary papers and the printer rings in one of the storage type. Okay, just uh, I uh, procured for our own consumption. I don't want to do any goods issue over the product in that case. We can use this one. And the stock type role is there. This I will uh, show you during the stock management chapter. Okay, replenishment level. And this also I am postponing for the replenishment okay now i am going to create two storage types for our uh, warehouse go to new entries aipl fast moving items i want to keep in one storage type fast moving items and i am not preferring any storage type role here means that is the standard one once the goods is uh, arrived into my storage type i need to get the confirmation of the put away this thing and the put away rule is i'm using addition to existing stock or empty bin and confirm removal i am using after confirming and availability group i am using double zero two and mandatory i will show you later on okay how it is impacted and etc with minimum parameters, I am creating a fast moving items. And I need one more slow moving items. Slow moving items. Slow moving items. Just confirm put away. Put away rules. Here for this empty bin I am applying. Confirm removal, availability group, same I am using, mandatory, this thing. Save it. Next, I am going with bulk, one more storage type. This is the open area. Bulk materials. Bulk materials. Confirm put IA and only handling units I store here. HQ requirement I am giving. Put away rule is general here. General storage. Okay. This thing. And confirm stock removal. Yeah, somebody is saying uh, not audible. Uh, what about other services? Let me know. Otherwise, he can rejoin. Need to okay for us. Yeah, Mr. Srinivas, uh, please uh, rejoin. Okay, mandatory, this thing. Okay, we have created three storage types now. One is <coughs> bulk, fast, and slow item. Okay, just give me three or four minutes. I will uh, clean remaining all storage types. Okay, 
i will explain you once the topic will come okay just i want to delete the storage types just have a look on in future you will get idea i want to delete all unnecessary storage types from my warehouse Just I am cleaning the data. Delete the sorting instructions. We will keep our own storage types. Okay. After discussing this activity areas and this thing, you will get a clear idea. Okay. That time you can uh, perform this activity. is there we can still nothing is there okay next assign bins no entries Okay. Yes. Okay. So two are still remaining. Let's delete the sorting and sections for this one. Yeah, somewhere it is stuck. Okay, not a problem. Remaining are deleted. <sighs> Next, come to define storage types. Bulk we require, fast we require, slow we require. Remaining all I am deleting. Storage sections like it. Sections are there. Okay. Okay, first I need to delete the sections also. Okay. 
okay now come to storage types Oh, sorry. Okay, not a problem. All are deleted. Now again, I am creating three storage types. One is fast, one is slow, another one is bulk. With three different put away rules. APL, fast, for fast moving items confirm put away i am using the put away rule addition to existing stack here confirm removal for availability group 002 mandatory i am creating next one more slow slow moving items confirm put away only empty bins concepts i am going to here using here confirm stock removal and i am using this double zero two and i am not triggering mandatory okay we will get some errors during that uh, transaction then we come to here and discuss and check this mandatory yes sir you was already created right this one again no, all, all deleted again Oh, okay. Uh, bulk. Coming to bulk materials, only handling units I keep there. Only handling units. Confirm put away. Stock removal is general. Open area. This one. Bulk. And availability group 002. Mandatory. Now, these are the final destination storage types. And I require staging areas. Say, for example, first uh, I receive goods nearby to the door. I want to keep the products before doing the put away. For that, I need staging area. Okay, that we will create. Our this one. A I G R. AIPL is our warehouse GR zone. GR zone. But here, storage type role is staging area group. Staging area. This one. Here, confirm put away. And the put away rule is general. That staging area is general. General. Confirm removal. And I am not using any availability group here. Okay. I will explain you during the transaction. Next. I require one GA staging area, GA stage, staging area also. Say for example, after removing my, my products from fast moving items or small or bulk, I want to keep nearby to the door before goods issue. Before goods issue. Okay, those racks are outside and the doors are another side. Okay, that side are doors. I bring my products to that door area and from there I issue the goods. For that, we require one GA staging area also. One GA staging area. AI GI GA staging area. GA zone. For this also, staging area group, role D, staging area group, okay, confirm put away, confirm removal, and availability group, not required here, I will explain you, and general put away, say for example, I am not maintaining any put away rule, I am trying to save this. Put away rule blank only allowed in storage type, storage type sequence, not in storage type. Okay, this I will explain you during the put away type. Here, 
what is this meaning is put away rule blank only allowed in storage type sets is you can see. not in storage type means put away rule is mandatory against the storage type put away rule out of five are there four or fives are there okay this thing addition to existing consolidation group general storage area empty bin these are there okay i am using this general storage area put away rule is mandatory for creation of storage type please make a note this okay now i have created two staging area groups one is for ga and another one is for gr three final storage types destination storage types okay now we will move to the storage sections okay storage sections the next arg structure define storage section go to new entries aapl is my warehouse storage type is fast moving items within the fast okay assume that we are dealing with uh, some high racks and low racks okay section high high racks one section aapl fast middle rack or low rack okay l o w low rack low racks slow items slow items say if we are running any automobile industry in the slow moving items engine parts okay this little slow assume that engine parts and gear parts these are the slow moving items slow moving items these things bulk i am not maintaining any storage section one open area one open area each storage type we have two two sections okay this thing. next further arg structure define storage bins storage bins come to here storage bin type what is meant by a storage bin type say yes for the definition wise storage bin type describes the physical properties of uh, storage bin okay definition wise say for example we delete bin types and uh, we create our own go to new entries aipl is my warehouse storage bin type say for example metl please keep uh, me to yourself sir uh, hello uh, hello sir uh, i'm sorry yeah. uh, sir uh, it's like i'm sorry for interrupt yeah so you it's 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 not it's not not audible sir Yeah, not audible from uh, my uh, other others also others uh, are uh, able to uh, hear sir uh, could you please uh, rejoin yeah i okay. have i think uh, problem, uh, problem the session. i think a problem uh, and problem. i came twice or thrice yeah. from 9:30 it's uh, from 9:30 same issue sir like i think from your side network keep on going i think so no sir no uh, your network is not good it seems yeah see others are replying they are able to uh, this thing others are replying sir no only sir no only sir not audible no, we are uh, yeah. able to, we are able to audible no, not no issues oh, is it? from our side uh, okay. um, oh i'm sorry sir yeah okay just uh, you you can uh, reconnect sir or else you can restart your system and reconnect okay yeah okay yeah coming to the bin type storage bin type 
uh, it's uh, describes the physical properties of the bin say for example what is the maximum weight you want to keep in uh, some uh, storage bins in that case what you can do you can create a storage bin type with that uh, weight and value parameters and assign that to respective storage bins okay just like uh, say for example one material is there uh, if i assign some material type for that uh, material that material type describes some characteristics of the bins oh, sorry characteristics of that uh, materials like uh, uh, what kind of material that one either it is purchasing relevant or not either it's sales relevant or not views and etc etc like that here storage bin type is there storage bin type storage bin type describes the some specific kind of properties or characteristics of the bins characteristics of the bins say for example if i i will not assign any bin type to my storage bin means uh, that you accept whatever it may be weight or volume or whatever it may be say here i am going to create one storage bin type metal bins i am giving some maximum weight is some uh, 50 kg maximum weight okay see here in this field i am giving the 50 and pressing enter automatically weight unit kgs are coming to this field this field is disabled from where it is coming if we recap the warehouse number control if we recap the warehouse number control we maintain some weight unit value unit length via unit and etc master data define warehouse number control go to apl see here i have given weight unit is kg here that's why this kg is coming there say for example if i lb i am giving here what will happen during the bin type we can check delete this entry come back go to define bin types new entries METL metal bins maximum weight is 50 okay, still okay it will update I think one sec okay again I will go there IMG master data storage bins define storage bin types oh sorry define storage bin types new entries metal bins maximum weight see here lb scale okay this weight unit is coming from warehouse number control there we have given this is the weight unit for us anyway we have the option to use the alternate unit of measurements okay this thing i am resuming as it is kgs go to define warehouse number control apl keeping as kg okay go to img setup acm extended warehouse management master data storage bins storage bin types new entries apl bin type is metal bins maximum weight is some 50 kgs each Oh, still it is there oh sorry one time we can log off and log up some updation is little slow from kg to this thing that is one uh, one time setup 
just for our understanding purpose where that is coming we change in that store a bin type metal already exist in the key that is saved i think delete it come back again go okay and please see here whenever you are defining any configuration object or any control parameters or whatever it may be at which level it is creating please make a note in your uh, own uh, books or excel sheets or whatever it may be see here at warehouse number level i am maintaining this storage bin type warehouse number level and this storage bin bin type is not specific to any storage type okay if i want to use this storage bin type to my bins in a specific storage type we need to assign this storage bin type to those bins okay please note that while defining the storage bin type it is maintaining at warehouse number level warehouse number level okay and these kind of certification questions you can expect in the exams at which level that one. and next i have a question over here uh, please i mean is this uh, storage bin type creation uh, uh, will be coming to the consultants as a change request or what i mean how it can be deal yes consultants only uh, will do yes yeah, for the business requirement okay. Okay. it's it's change request yes okay. yes exactly yes yeah see here uh, uh, if uh, anybody is uh, uh, certified in uh, itil uh, okay uh this one uh, yeah, one thing is that there uh, we have some chm uh, quality management and etc etc yeah, problem management incident management and etc are there say for example uh, uh if uh, we are getting any error that is treating as an incident if the same incident is repeating that can be converted to problem okay according to our uh, uh emergency change board like the ecb or uh, ecmb emergency change management board or else cmb change management board etc etc we define some uh, uh, architects in that uh, group okay during the uh, support projects sometimes we will get the repeated incident that repeated incident mm -hmm. as a problem okay uh, that uh, incident management over problem management okay i want to do some config change to rectify that problem then that problem turned as a change request change yes, request. yes. Uh, that is calling as a change management once the change request is come to us we do the changes and uh, we give uh, that data to different different uh, testing teams yeah. like uh, ut futs and uh, uat is there okay at the developer yes, yes. De developer level if we perform any testing that is calling as a ut developer level okay during the development or coding uh, that consultant do the testing himself itself himself okay that is calling as a unit test once the development come to the a uh, functional consultant that turned as a fut functional unit test from functional consultants uh, approval that goes to the user acceptance test okay if that is also passed in this cycle whatever it may be uh, as yes, part of this change management that will move to the production environment as yes, for the window transport window okay this is the normal uh, support uh, processes yeah any kind of yeah, thanks for the explanation yeah, yeah, yeah any kind of configurations comes under the change management uh, chm okay uh, all these concepts are in uh, itil uh, v3 foundation uh, certification okay 
कैसे ओन क्वेश्चन कैन बी यूज स्टोरेज बिन टाइप्स विदाउट असाइनिंग स्टोरेज टाइप्स विदाउट असाइनिंग टू स्टोरेज टाइप्स से फॉर एग्जांपल वी मेंटेन द बिन्स अगेनेस्ट टू स्टोरेज टाइप राइट अगेनेस्ट टू स्टोरेज टाइप बट माय बिन्स आर हैविंग bin types means we have relationship uh, from storage type to bin type right through yes, bins okay yeah yeah see here the same thing maximum value say i am taking some one value mean it automatically coming from the uh, warehouse number control this one and the maximum capacity means maximum uh, packaging materials this thing maximum permitted capacity for packaging materials this depends on uh, mixed concept also mixed storage concepts of uh, storage type that field can influence if we go with this one maximum allowed capacity for bins in this storage type okay capacity up to which other products can be packed into the packaging material mixed this one this can be depends on that storage type setting and here length width height these are there length width height say for example this one if i give 111 unit is m means unit of length is m that is coming from automatically here and coming to ewm capacity check at weight and volume only weight and volume only not with sizes here one drawback is there i will explain to you not with sizes okay say for example my bin type or bin or whatever it may be length is 1 width is 1 height is 1 what is the value of this one 1 meter cube 1 meter cube okay weight and volume only say for example my product length is 1.1 height is 0.8 width is 1 what is the value of this we can check calculator yeah calc say 1.1 into 0.8 into 1 this value is 0.88 okay i have only weighted value check keep aside this weight value only system will allow us to keep this value of product into this bin this bin okay but in a realistic 1.1 length is there we cannot keep into this 1 meter okay my product length is 1.1 but here length is only 1 value wise it will allow but length wise it cannot allow a yeah, small this uh, uh, this is there within the system they are using only weight at volume capacities they are giving provision but value wise this is less than this but we cannot keep this product into this bin why because length is 1.1 is there here permission length is only 1 okay this thing is there this these are not useful for us 
next Have sir instead of 50 kg if you receive uh, 75 kg it will allow or not it will not allow it will not allow it will take another uh, correct one correct correct and but uh, if you go with uh, put away split indicator uh, and your put away rule is addition to existing stock what it will do in the first bin some 20 kg capacity open place is there 20 kg there that can be keep and the remaining 50 system try to propose for the next bin okay put away splitting will happen we will check in we will see in our transactions that thing yeah plastic bins some maximum weight is only 10 kg for my plastic bins and value some whatever it may be we can use 0 comma 5 yeah. okay this i am not using any length or whatever it may be now two bin types are enough for us if required during the transactions we will create again one concept is there bin access type bin access type what is this i will show you i need to show some uh, image to discuss about this bin access type okay in my warehouse human workers are there workers are calling as piece of machinery or workers are calling as resources four cliffs also there these also resources okay note that in my warehouse human workers are there four cliffs also there now we are going to emails is it possible to access these storage bins by a forklift is it possible to access these storage bins by a forklift i need answer sir no no not the best size so that's not possible yes exactly this is not possible but uh, rat type okay yes exactly exactly okay assume that the here forklift is not possible and is it possible to access by manually to collect this product uh, no. no it's not possible but you can uh, after deconsolidation you can do yes yes manually it's not possible means according to resource wise means say for example i want to restrict forklift for this storage bins forklift for this bins and i want to restrict only manual workers for this kind of storage bins i want to restrict only manual worker forklift anyway that cannot uh, accessible here and manual worker cannot be accessible for this thing here i will use machinery here i will use manual resources okay this is also a bin this is also a bin assume that this is the plastic bin and this is the metal bin assume that but the accessing are different here so one provision is there in extended warehouse management bin access type how you are going to access that bin this will be useful in our uh, resource management module okay at this moment just we create some bin access types bin access type new entries aipl manual access aipl mission access okay this thing manual access and mission access 
bin access type bin access type uh, chris yes what yes please yeah please uh, bin access types you defined here yeah and are you going to assign these uh, access type bin access types to i mean you define at warehouse level warehouse level yes are you going to assign to this uh, to bin yes, types? yes, yes. not bin okay. bins bins yeah, yeah. Okay. for the definition wise bin access type describes how you are going to access that bin okay storage type definition is that tells the physical properties or physical characteristics of the storage bin type bin access type is uh, describes the how you are going to access that storage bin okay either manually or machinery okay this thing next one now before going to the storage bin structure we will see something general okay something general one sec we check the maps or map not maps images images sorry yes this is my colony assume that this is the first road second road third road okay this one and this is our streets street one street this is the first road assume that main road first road second road these are the streets assume that these are the streets across instead of street we can say cross first road second road okay two roads are there first cross second cross third cross okay fourth cross say for example my house is here then what how i identify my house first second second cross one two three fourth fourth cross is my house second road fourth cross is my house this is for my house identification in a layout okay just like I have warehouse with me. How do I identify where the bin is located? For that, bin identifiers are there. Bin identifiers. In terms of yields, stacks, levels. In terms of what is mean by yield? suitable image we will get this is very simple sir wherever you are getting doubts you can go through image or whatever it may be you can check see here this is my rack here 08 is there 08 is there 09 is there 09 is there this area this passage is calling as a yale This passage is calling as a yale. Say for example, here my cursor is moving. What is this yale number? 08. If I am going to here, 09. Maybe this side, left side, we have 07, 06, 05, 04, etc. And this side, 10 and etc, etc. Say for example, anybody is, uh, is asked me, uh, in the yale, uh, 9, I want to go with one bin. Straight away, I can come to here and go this yale. Okay. 
this thing. This is the Yale. Yale is nothing but a free space between two racks. Free space between two racks. This is the Yale. This is the Yale. Okay, passage area. Say, for example, if you travel by uh, luxury buses, either uh, government or uh, private buses, you can see window 7, Yale 7, like this thing. Means, window means window side seat. Yale means that is beside the way, walkway. For this seat also, adjacent seat uh, uh, beside that walkway, that is Yale side seat. And uh, that side, the last one is window again, like this thing. Yale is a walkway or path between the two racks. Okay, this thing. Next, stack is there. Stacks. Stack one figure we require. Yes, yeah. Now assume that we are in a Yale now. We are in a Yale. Okay. Now stack. Stack is nothing but here, like this horizontal direction. Stack one, stack two, stack three, stack four, stack five, stack six, stack seven, stack eight, stack nine, stack ten, like this thing. Stack is horizontal arrangement of the bins. Stacks. Say I am in Yale eight. This one is the Yale eight stack one, Yale eight stack two, Yale eight stack three, Yale eight stack four like this thing identification what is this the for example this is one stack one what is the what uh, where is the stack for one two where is the zero eight level yale eight stack four what is the bin yale eight this one one two three four yale eight stack four this one horizontal horizontal now the third identification is levels level 1 level 2 level 3 okay this one say for example this is the yale 8 what is the yale 8 stack to level 3 what is the yale 8 stack to level 3 please see carefully we are in yale 8 stack to level 2 stack to level 2 this one what is the yale 8 Stack 1, level 3. We are in Yale 8. Stack 1, level 3. This one. Vertically, we are counting. Okay. These are the identifiers to identify the storage bin arrangement. Okay. This is calling as a bin identifiers in AWM. Okay. This thing. Any doubts are uh, before closing the session. Tomorrow, we will uh, manage the storage bin identifiers and generate the storage bins yeah any doubts before closing the session okay sir thank you thank you for attending See, uh, yeah. Okay, sir. yeah please this storage type group is nothing related with this bin 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 types correct this correct. is different yeah yeah correct yeah that that uh, I, I i will uh, uh, explain you in a later classes why uh, we use the storage type groups and this. Uh, yeah, and sir, there is a bin depth concept also. Yes, so if we want to go with the, if we want to go with the micro level storage bin arrangements, we go with the bin depths and the bin uh, subdivisions. Yeah, that also we can. So this, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. This is about the storage types and storage sections. Tomorrow we will generate the bin structure and generate the bins. And also I will show you uh, bin upload program tomorrow. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you for attending the session. Have a nice day. Bye.